Hello friends. In the previous video, I have shown you how to install chip server and management console. In this video, I will just see how to uh, install workstation. Workstation is nothing but uh, an intermediator which communicates uh, with chip server and it will be used to develop books and manage nodes. So in workstation, we have to install chip uh, development kit. First, I have already downloaded and copied into this uh, workstation machine. It is a chef FTK, so I am going to install that before installing. Let me just verify whether I have installed it or not. Okay, grab chef. No, it doesn't have the package, so I am going to install it. Installer update and chef FTK RPM. Sorry, I have to switch to root. Yes, RPM. I can use this chef DK. So once we install this, the next process is we have to um, generate an ICD.RG configuration file. So basically, for uh, at the initial stage, we have an option in uh, chef man and management console. So first, we have to log into the management console. And download the chef starter kit. The starter kit will be having a basic nightmare RP file, which has all uh, the chef server link and information for application and everything. So, first, in the meantime, we will download that. I will open my browser. It is also going to complete. Yes, HTTPS, Chef Server. So it's an untested connection because it's just a self sign certificate. It's okay, it's an exception. So give, give, give us a Chef Management Console login. Okay, remember which uh, user credential which we have created last time while configuring uh, Chef Management Console in the organization user and everything. So we have created go to administration. Here select the organization which we have created Chef Test. Download the starter kit. Download starter kit. Yeah, it's okay. Keys will get reset. Now save. So this has been saved here. So basically, I'll just move this into. Otherwise, I'll just first extract it. It will be having a chef repo and extract into home location. That's it. Extract. Ship it. So let's get into the console now. Yeah, this has been installed. Also, what I have done, I have installed the uh, development kit as well as I have downloaded the uh, starter kit and copied into my home folder. So, what is this? I will move into Chef Repo now. I don't know where I downloaded that. Sorry, I've been copied here to there. So I'll move to Chef. It has some um, files. Looks like um, here there will be one hidden folder also. Just get into chef repo and try to 
the knife scissor chip it should hide in this trigger chip server url to communicate with connection with your strongly first okay i think Okay, now you can see. Uh, see, um, we are not able to verify the error, uh, verify the um, certificate. So, what do you do? SSL fetch. You see, fetch the SSL certificates and place in the respective uh, places tested search. Now do SSL check again. Yeah, it has been verified. Now just do a knife client list. Yes, it should be check validator. So now we will be able to trigger all the knife clients. So all the knife clients. See now we have only one user and admin. So we have set up and we are ready to um, develop good groups and everything through knife. But in the meantime, I want to show you one more thing. This is the actual folder, hidden folder or chef. This will be having the prompt file which we use to connect to the chef server. If you check out trusted search, this folder will be having the SSL certificates which we fetched using knife SSL fetch. And if you see uh, do a cat of knife.org it will be having the details log level is the basic info and uh, default log should print out to the standard output which is console node name is admin is a knife and uh, workstation that is fine client key will be allocated in uh, admin dot then chef server url is um, in the new versions it includes the organization name of the chef test, cookbook parties, default parties, slash cookbooks. So we have set up workstation. In the next tutorials, we will see how to configure and bootstrap node and uh, make that particular node to join with this server. So that's it for workstation configuration. See you guys in the next video.